Hello, welcome back. So we have a bit of an exploit over here. So when you enter the warehouse for the first time, you will see a lot of drones flying all over the place. So if you shoot a drone once, they will drop their cargo. If you shoot the drone again, well, nothing happens, right? But if you just wait until they buzz around a little bit, if you shoot them again, another crate will drop. So that's a bug because they they will drop a crate even if they are not killing one. And after you are done with that, because not all of them will drop the second crate, you can just destroy them and they'll fall down to the ground. That's again a massive boost of resources for you. Also we'll get that secret crate on the whole this thing. It's actually pretty devious. See, this is actually discontinued. So you can go around here. Find another dead body and be sad about it. Go up here. And this is part of the second row of crates that I found. Because I attacked them a few times. Also, you can destroy that guy if you really want. Let's make sure you shoot through the fence. As you can see, I'm overflowing with loot just because I did this a couple of times. So as you can see, I have a lot of bullets and a lot of healing items. Yeah, it's a little bit shitty, but what can I say? Yeah, I guess that's the way the game is played now. I also destroyed the drones before I got a lot of crates. So yeah, shoot them once, they drop the crate. Wait until they buzz around, shoot them again, they might drop another crate. And then finally destroy them for extra loot, because they count as loot as well. Electro EMP generator, what is that? Now, as much as I tried, I don't think you're supposed to jump on the crate and get over here. See, it doesn't really work. Let's try it again. Yeah, you cannot grab the ledge, even though you should technically be able to... Yeah. I guess the developers put some restraints so you're not completely... Insane. Okay, let's go back and I'll show you another thing or two. Also, there are a couple of things over there. And also, try to summon all of the little drones that you can because you'll get even more loot. And over here, just jump on the crates and go beyond that, and you'll get even more loot. So what should you upgrade in the beginning? Well, depends. you don't have a lot of options, but you should upgrade, of course, the electro gun. Because in the beginning, you can put the barrel and then upgrade the barrel. As you can see, this, will, this can be level 2. Increases the rate of fire, but also the recirculation chamber which increases damage, which is huge. And also, you have the energy vampire mo the energy vampire module, and then you can also install the EMP generator that we just got from the crate over there. Adds a special attacks. Adds a special attack. Oh, but we need five of these. Well, I hope we save some. They'll actually be a little harder to get. And that's how I basically upgraded everything. As you can see, some of them are not really worth it, like rate of fire. I guess I should put cartridge module on all of them, but I don't really have... I think it's related to the polymer gel or something like that. I'm sure the game will teach me how to do it. Anyway, the point is, as you can see, we, we have upgraded a couple of things and the battle is also quite interesting. Now, as for character upgrades... Well, I think HP is pretty a pretty good start. So, I have HP. Uh, I don't think this is worth it, but as you saw, you might want to buy it because you'll, you'll have much more ammunition than you can carry at some point. And then probably should get the extra inventory space because I have these. Suits, the suit to laser increase your suit's laser resistance. The droids and also the drones, they use lasers, so it's going to be pretty important. And those are pretty expensive, I would say. 
Now we could also get some more stuff from over here. Fire damage. But this is much more expensive. I was thinking of getting the polymer. Because we can electrify them. We have the electro gun. But the electro gun already does damage. So I'm not sure if it will be worth it. Sometimes you'll get attacked by a lot of enemies. So it might be worth it then. So we'll just leave it at this. And by the way, these are going to heal you 50, this will be 100, and the other ones will be 150. So don't worry about it. The 50 will be more than enough in the beginning. Okay, so let's advance. So that's all I wanted to tell you in the beginning. Oh yeah, here are more... St it's just more stuff from the... Flyer drones I destroyed, and as you can see there's nothing flying over here. You can jump on that and go a little bit over there, but no ma there's not much you can do. I guess we just have to advance and probably will have access to the platform straight above us. Hmm, I guess we can try to grab onto the ledge, but I don't think that will help us with our current task, so let's just go. This is an elevator, so it will probably take us upstairs. By the way, I was attacked by about five of the five robots. It was not hard to kind of defend against them, but we managed to do it. Yes, I basically destroyed a lot of drones and some robots over there. <laughs> it was quite fun. As you can see, they are shooting lasers at me. The Makarov is actually great at destroying these drones. So... I guess you can farm a little bit from the drones as well. But to be honest, you don't want to do overkills because I feel like I'm already getting more than enough. Polymerization 90 of out of 100. Hey, if a robot is destroyed, I demand to loot it. This is going to be interesting. I guess we should first go over here. Oh yeah, this is great because we can save over here and get everything else. And I guess we have new stuff for the Makarov. Believe me, the Makarov is super strong as you saw. And you also get a lot of ammo for it. Sure, more, more. It's a little better than the shotgun. Muzzle brick, so what did we get? Uh, I'm not sure what we got from that. See on map, we don't have a map. Oh, probably we just got the pistol again, because this is the pistol we actually found, and if you find it, I think it comes with a few upgrades. If not, you'll have to craft it from zero. Well, that's not ideal. Critical 
и сбой в системе физической безопасности. Всем сотрудникам немедленно покинуть помещение семенного фонда. Okay, this opens in a weird way. So let's try and get more stuff out of these things. Uh, I think we are, we can go over there, swim somehow from another place, and there is another secret just over there on top of us. I guess first of all we have to go down here and see what's here. Ah, more loot from the destroyed stuff. Perfect. I think we needed a few energy modules. As you can see, we're on top of this thing, and that's probably the last crate I have to open in this area. But it's not very clear if we have to jump it or how we should do it. I guess we should also look around this place. Oh yeah, this is the place that I told you about. It's going to hit him in the face, eh, almost. That you can just go behind. So this area actually has so much to it. Let's get those as well. I uh, said so have to wait for the elevator again over here. By the way, the FPS is pretty good in this area. I hope it doesn't have major problems. The FPS is so good. And that's about... I think it's about 10 minutes of farming what I showed you. Because you need a lot of time to destroy all of the drones and some of the robots that come out to get you. I didn't open the big one? Huh, weird. Now let's see about this one. Can we simply go up here? Ah, that would have been too easy, right? That's what the game is trying to tell me. It would have been too easy. Well, I wouldn't have said no. I'm not sure about what this mechanic is. I think this is what... Uh, this is the game trying to tell you if a blue drone comes along, it can fully repair this, so keep an out on them, don't let them fully repair them back. Now, technically, you should be able to do that. Okay, let's load the game, because I disagree with that. So... I guess the game is amazing in certain aspects, it's just that the secrets are sometimes a little o underwhelming or overwhelming. For example, the one where you have to go on top of that thing to get the EMP attachment for the electric gun or whatever it is. It's a little bit overboard because you also have to destroy all of the drones to get all of that extra loot, so yeah, it's... I guess it's good because it's very rewarding, but at the same time I wish it was a little more introductive because you would think this is the beginning of the game, and you're actually a bit wrong, because at this point you're supposed to know most of the mechanics anyway. But I really would have wished that for the game to begin with a huge open area that you can play in, and not throw in all of these mazes from the beginning. This is clearly something you should be able to grab. what I mean but it's not something we can grab so we have to improvise huh I think that should have been good for us to jump in the polymer no but it's not enough okay game okay have it your own way Yeah, 
Yeah, this is one of the complaints I have about the game. It seems you have a lot of things to explore and a lot of secrets, more or less. But some of them are just too abstract. You have to think inside the box. This is the first game that makes you think inside the box. As opposed to outside of the box. So let's say we get over here. I initially... Oh. It's marked. Okay, now I see. But the game doesn't... Did the game ever explain to us that if it's marked with white paint you can grab it? No. It doesn't say anything about grabbing the ledges. How did that crate get like that over there? Nothing big in this one? I think there should have been something big in this one. No, I disagree. Okay, let's try that again. I have the I have a feeling we missed something. Sorry about this. <laughs> An entire video dedicated to this secret level. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not really doing much of combat anyway. So I think if you're playing the game on a normal difficulty and you do all of these little tips and tricks I'm showing right now, you might be overpowered by the time you reach this level. Or this location. <laughs> Am I supposed to press and hold space? I think that's the problem. Yeah. One of the major things I dislike about games is when they don't actually stick to their own set of rules. So the basic rule is you jump to grab, right? But apparently you have to jump and press and hold space. I don't know, I just wish they would have, you know, a more uniform set of mechanics. Ah. Oopsie, yeah, yeah. Also, this happens to me a lot, sorry about that. I, I tend to press shift before I press space because it gives me the impression you can boost and then jump. But that will not work, you have to jump and then boost. I think it should work both ways. You get a boost to your jump if you sprint before. And I understand why it doesn't work like that, but... Still, it can happen by accident. Again, I'm not sure if it's because of me pressing shift or because I pressed and hold space. I have another chest over there. So yeah, I guess it's a minor complaint what I have, but eh. okay. So that truly was everything that was in there. Uh, yeah, as you can see, those are crates. Those are the crates that bugged out when I was shooting the rope. The drones. And they dropped extra crates. Okay. Oh, so that's just going to bring me back here. Hmm. And what would be the point of using it? And now we are on this side of the map. Okay, now I just need to think of a way to get on top. Eh, that shouldn't be too hard. What was that? A 
Shock wave. Freeze. Okay, give me a tiny amount of loot. Oh, this is so much verticality in a way I love it, in a way I hate it, because it makes you so suspicious of where you have to go. Perfect, super conductor. Fire cartridge, we finally have the cartridges. <laughs> it's kind of funny that the dead bodies don't give you anything. I thought the shotgun would be a much better weapon, but apparently you just have to use all of the other guns except the shotgun. Yeah, sometimes you have to save a lot because progress is not uniform. Well, I guess we need to be on the ground level as well. Oh, it's the ninja ones. Oh, it's actually pretty tough to beat. Oh, I really wish I'd, I would know where I am. Definitely don't jump down in this area, you'll be smashed by all of these guys. Oh, that's just another trap door. Nice little secret area. <clears throat> oh, okay, I guess we have to go this way, maybe. Okay, that's how we get back. <laughs> nice little detour. This, this is the other area, you can unlock it and go back to that other area. Okay, before we go back, I just want to make sure we have all of the loot. 
Yeah, looting is fun in this game. And the mini lockpicking games are not so bad either. What am I doing? Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh, I hate these. Actually, that was pretty quick thinking of me, right? Right? <laughs> Oh, we can, we can actually go back. Oh, that's perfect. This is why I love this game. You can actually spend basically three minutes in this area, or spend twenty-five minutes, even thirty minutes, if you want all of the loot. It will definitely be worth your time. Even though some people will think, "Hey, why should I spend so much time?" Well, there are many secrets, and there is a lot of loot in the game. I guess I'll have to get every piece of loot because I'm playing on hard difficulty. But also. I know, because I'm a loot goblin. And I think everything will be important. I'll try not to make these videos very, very long. But it's definitely bothering me when I cannot get everything. So how are you supposed to climb all the way up here? Well, I guess you have to use the stupid thingy from top to bottom. I mean, you cannot jump and grab it. Maybe it took me... It's more clear from here where I have to jump. No, it's not more clear. Oh, it actually is, okay. Makes you think you want to go that way, but you actually want to go this way. Huh, that's a bit I should have gotten, okay. Why would I want to go over here? This is the beta area. Because there is even more loot. I saw neuro neuropolymers. Okay, that one actually had a lot more. Oh, you can actually climb the pipe or climb down it. I am amazed. I am shocked. There is so much verticality and so many things you can do in the game. And we haven't even reached that part of the game, I guess. We still have half of a map to explore. You know what, let's explore a little more. I'm just saving so we don't do a mistake and break our neck because this is definitely an area where you can probably break your neck and die. And this is definitely another possibility even though it doesn't seem like it leads anywhere. I guess you can jump in the puddle and then you can go all the way over there. Okay, so by my calculations, we are done with this area of the map as well. And we just have to go to that other one, and I guess the floating crates will never be recovered. Just amazing, just that's, that's all I can say about the game. I guess we can play a little bit so we can see what's on the other side. Come on, I just healed. I guess this is one of the parts I don't necessarily like about the game. Yes, you can grab onto things that are yellow.
Wait, how do you open this thing then? Yeah, let's take a look at this. I suppose you can either go via that. Pretty, ah, that's the only way you can go anyway. <laughs> I thought you had two options, but no. <clears throat> it's only that one option. Yeah, but it, they don't... What? <coughs> it wouldn't let me jump. Come on, you can do it. Oh, you have to do it like this. Huh, that was weird. Yeah, the jumping is definitely finicky. It could have been a lot more tighter. Oh, it does, they don't auto stack, okay. Okay, so what can we craft? Oh wow, some of these guns go really out of their way, but I guess there are not that many if you look at them. I guess we can craft... oh, we don't have enough. What about the stunning stuff? Oh yeah, we have enough. I guess we can unlock a cartridge slot for the pistol. Hmm. What about... Oh, sorry about this, I am playing too much, but I like it. I guess we should save these because I'm pretty sure we'll need them later. Energy management. Lost health is recycled into energy. That's actually an interesting option. That doesn't seem too good in the beginning. Well, to be honest, I think my telekinesis is the way to go. <laughs> okay, my telekinesis unlocked. Well, I really want to see what's behind that door. If it's something interesting, we'll have to look right now. Yeah, I think we got most of the items lying around the place. That's not something we can interact with. Oh, yeah, that's annoying. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, I guess it's too fast in the last phases. Yeah, 
Yeah, sometimes I think this is a bit too randomized though. What are you hiding over here? Oh, just a little bit of loot. It's actually a pretty funny robot if you think about it. Oh wow, that that's a, that hurts a lot for what it's supposed to do. Okay, we'll see each other next time when we're going to the lake and swim a little bit. Bye.